downtown Toronto with Matthew Edison. What inspired you to get into the business? Um, well, it was actually somebody else um, who kind of inspired me to try and get involved. I was um, a little bit of a lost kid, I guess, like a lot of actors, just not knowing what to do, but a, a bit of outside the um, social norm, I guess. And then uh, I was hanging out with a, guy, a bunch of guys who were probably no good for me, well, who were no good for me, <laughs> and I was looking for a way to kind of um, do something else at recess. And uh, so I kind of went in through improv. Uh, there was like this improv class, and um, yeah, through a series of events, uh, uh, you know, a, a, an improv sort of instructor said you should go to this art school. I went there, and then I studied. And then I, I just I fell in love with reading plays, and um, yeah, the and, and got the bug, I guess. What's been the most rewarding part of your part of your career as an actor so far? Um, that's a tough one. Um, well. Um, I'm a writer as well. That was that was kind of a bit a nice big first, and then um, I guess, um, geez, there's I, I'm playing Mick in the Caretaker in which was a play uh, um, was a lot of fun for me. It was a real challenge and and uh, a lot of reward to do that part. So yeah, it's that. What's your process like from when you get the the script to when you finally perform it? What what do you do? Well, I try to assume for as long as I can that the character is me. And then, um, because then uh, you just don't have to do any acting. And then, and then when you go, oh, this is something different, or I have to research this a bit, or I have to get behind that a little bit, um, I, I go that route. I often try to think of who does this person remind me of? Mm -hmm. And um, because in a strange way, the, the rhythm of the way the character thinks, uh, whether they think quickly or slowly, affects the physicality. And all of that seems to come from me, for me from the idea of somebody I already know. And I, I, I kind of think that these sort of types exist throughout time and history. I mean, in, in, you meet these types in, in grade school, and they never change, no matter where you go. You, know, you go to your, your office, and you're like, oh, there's the class clown, and there's the, there's the teacher's pet, and there's this. So I always just sort of think, what, what type is that? Where do they fit? And then, and then, um, and then tec technique-wise, I suppose, I try to figure out after that whether uh, they're on the side of the hero uh, or the, uh, the other side of the equation. <laughs> Am I there to be an antagonist? What's the most challenging part about being an actor? Um, I, I think a, lo a lot of time just being, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> this doesn't sound like you know, Actors Anonymous, but a little bit like just being taken seriously sometimes. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a big impression, I think, a lot of time that, uh, you know, um, you know that, uh, and this is probably our own fault because we're very silly and ridiculous a lot of time, but we you get this sort of impression then when you try to just approach something like you would, like any other trade, uh, you know, some people kind of um, go, but well, what do you really do? You know, what do you really do? Or the other thing is, of course, is that they haven't seen you in something, you haven't really done anything, you know, which is maybe true. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to an aspiring actor? Um, I, I think to keep in mind that part of the, the, the love and the enjoyment, if you want to do it for a profession, that the love and enjoyment of acting itself is only one uh, part of the job that a big, big section of the pie is getting the job, and that has its own innate, some people have their own gift for that and their own natural ability to just go in and get the job, and other people, you know, they, they might be horrible at auditions, but they're great at, if you give them a full part and, and things like that. I think if you're not, a lot of actors aren't aware that there's a, um, there's a lot of effort that goes into getting the job, and then if you can act and, you, you can, and you've gone to school or whatever, and you, then you can assume you can do the other part, it's fine, you know. So I think that's just something to kind of think about. If you want to do it seriously, you're basically on a lifetime of job interviews. And if you do well at the job interviews section of it, you can enjoy the acting part of it. Where's the best place to find out more information on you and on your upcoming projects online? I, I wish I, I would like to be way more connected than I, I say that, but it's probably not true. I'm not a really well like in, uh, connected, integrated person, but there's, I guess, stuff, a lot of stuff, I guess, about me online, and I, I, my sister's always telling me that. And, some new thing popped up. So I guess you could just sort of type in my name and you'll find a bunch of stuff, yeah. <laughs> right. And are there any products in particular that you're very excited about coming up? Um, yeah, uh, I different ones, I guess. Um, um, well, I've got, I'm, I'm doing a couple of plays this year and I'm working on a feature thing of my own. So I guess the um, playing Algernon in earnest and uh, doing uh, and working on uh, this, this, this process project I'm doing, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck with all your upcoming projects. My pleasure. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Sure. I'm Katie.
Katie Ellman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto.